Hello everyone, this is Lamit Sani of Code Logical, and today's video we're going to be having a look at how to create and use Ember.js helpers. So sometimes let's just use this example. You may have some really long um, value in a property name. So let's say we have uh, this property in our controller, index controller, which is my very long first name, and it has some really long text, some very long name. And we want that when we output that here, the um, helper automatically strips that out for us. So this is actually a helper in itself, um, but it's different from the other helpers in that um, you can easily pass in an extra helper. Well, that's not the only difference, but it just outputs stuff, but you can pass in another helper. Let's say a uh, helper call strip um, or make shorter. So we can create a helper called make shorter and when we pass that here um, that will automatically take this as a value and make the output shorter but before we call that let's just see what we get by just outputting this in the browser. So in our browser when we refresh we get the value from the controller some very long name but let's try to strip that to just four letters some. Okay. So back in our app.js, um, let's just create a helper. And how you do that in Ember is you can just say ember.handlebars.helper. And that's a function. And the first parameter it takes is the name of the helper. And in this case, we'll call it make shorter. And the second parameter it takes is a function. And the function takes two parameters that's the value um, that's whatever you passed in and the second one is an um, options hash and we'll get to the options part in a later video but for this video we don't have to deal with that so how do we um, deal with this so we can we, we have to return whatever value we want to be the output inside our template so we can just say return value dot substring and we're gonna start at the zero property. If you know your JavaScript, that's saying that start at the first element and get a, um, every element up until the fifth um, element. Well, not fifth, but element at the number five position. So let's go back in our templates. And now when we do this, make shorter, that will take this um, value here and pass it to this helper here. And then we should get a shorter name. So when we go back in our browser and we refresh, we get an error. And let me see what the error is. Um, apparently, we have an undefined is not a function. Okay, um, I just realized that I needed to switch the position. So basically, since this helper here is sort of a function, so think of it as your taking this function and you're passing this value to it and then the output that's what you're going to see so let's go back in the browser we refresh now we should see some f and that's just saying start at the 0 0 1 2 3 4 and the fifth one is not included in the substring method for javascript so that's one way of creating handlebars helpers and if you want to get more information about how to create helpers just go to emberjs.com guides and um, there's a handlebars um, template section here and it says writing helpers there's lots of information here I didn't want to go through everything but that's just the basics of how you create a helper in emberjs and as you can see you can create stuff like calendar helpers as well and um, that's your work I believe yeah sort of like an alias to uh, a view so that's it guys thanks for watching i'll see you in another video if this was helpful as well please do comment and subscribe and share as well thanks for watching bye bye